everyone welcome to my channel so today i am having yes sir with us and in this video we will talk about how you can get interview opportunity from mercedes and how you can grow in community so please watch this video till the end so hello sir thank you thank you so much for accepting our invitation so can you give me your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you yeah thank you for inviting me first of all amrit anjali um, it's a pleasure to be on your channel and to share my thoughts uh, uh, across my journey which i have you know uh, achieved so far so currently yeah, uh, i'm working at mercedes benz as a senior consultant uh, previously i used to work with ibm and my overall experience would be around 4 years and uh, the domain which i work upon is application development um, and uh, all the consulting work which uh, the product uh, owners you know uh, want me to so that's the domain on which i i play my role and also i just want to add some more point that uh, yes sir he is running a very good community he is having a very good fan following at linkedin and also he have started a youtube video uh, starting creating a youtube video so you can uh, uh, just to, uh, uh, go to his channel uh, you can find the link of his channel and linkedin the link in the given description so please check this also so i want to ask yeah. one thing that how one can get interview opportunity from mercedes and what is work culture of mercedes i just want to know everything about mercedes so can you explain this yeah so i think um, the opportunity will be will be there on the job portals right so the majority of the hiring which goes in mercedes is having from linkedin because um, i've tried other job portals as well like you know um, this nokri and uh, other job insta hire like you know job portals but um, the mercedes will be hiring uh, only from the you know the linkedin portal and i was also you know applying for this mercedes from a very long time and uh, fortunately i got the window and i get into the company uh, and the hiring process also very you know very different because uh, i've applied in the fang companies also and i've got received uh, i received couple of offers from fang but uh, there was a history with mercedes and i just want to you know be part of this company that's why i chose uh, mercedes over other fan companies so the thing which i observe with mercedes is you know there is a window of around 2 to 3 months each year uh, which is basically uh, revolves around from june to august or june to september probably and you have to be applied into that particular time of frame only so if that window goes then there the chances will be very less uh, for you to you know join that company because i've referred many people in my company and uh, the referrals will be also accepted in that particular you know time frame after that i've tried to refer people but the uh, the company is not you know hiring or they've frozen their hiring so i was lucky enough that you know i was looking at that particular window and uh, i was lucky to clear initial round i mean the screening round and uh, then there was some technical rounds like you know coding round and all um, then there were uh, a couple of management route uh, which was Uh, the project management and the director of the project so those were the management round and then there were some hr round and the salary discussion so the generic um, you know sell uh, the generic round that any fan company uh, or any you know the startup or any big company follows the same similar pattern we follow here on mercedes so 6 to 7 rounds a couple of technical a couple of coding round and then ultimately you'll get hired if you are lucky enough <laughs> yeah so that's great to know that and uh, one point i just want to ask that uh, as you are having a very good fan following at linkedin and you are also very active in community building so can you explain how one can start building community and what is benefit of building community and when you have decided to build this because lots of people know a lots of thing but no one wants to help only few people like you wants to help people and that's why they grow community uh, like linkedin and um, uh, other youtube so can you explain this correct yeah so that totally depends upon uh, you know the moral responsibility that you have um i was you know i was working with ibm and i was i was working there for around 3 years right and i was looking for a product based switch but there was no guidance for me uh, there were no seniors no colleague which will you know show me the road map to you know join any product based company or to join any you know um, big tech company so after you know working on myself after you know building a community on linkedin and uh, the recruitment which i got here in mercedes was also through linkedin so i got the importance how a platform can you know play a major role in your career growth and also allow others to you know grow in their career 
so once i got the you know idea like how this community can help individuals uh, how this community can help uh, the hiring team the recruitment team um, the the juniors and even the college students which are you know barely starting their career they can you know uh, they can uh, you know gain a lot of uh, you know information and insight of uh, the market of uh, the tech world through this community so once i get this opportunity and once i thought you know that i have gained enough knowledge i've started to transport it to or i've uh, you know decided to travel that knowledge to the juniors or the fellow colleagues so each day you know um, they like like hundreds of dms have received on my linkedin and everyone will be asking about uh, how they can grow on linkedin how can they uh, you know prepare for their jobs how can they you know uh, make a switch from a service based to product based how can they you know uh, uh, you know have some investment planning for the startups there are like you know, numerous uh, of uh, questions which i receive uh, on linkedin so the major uh, thing or the major uh, information which i want to provide through your channel is you know uh, just start i mean uh, there is no age or there is no you know uh, background to have that particular you know goal start just start whatever the content you are uh, comfortable with if you're a student you you can you know start building a content or start building community across the domain which you're working uh you might or you might not be from the technical background but that doesn't matter on a platform like linkedin right you can agree with me so to start or to have that particular mindset to you know grow a community or to be visible across platform or to be visible in some of the areas which you will be working upon will be the key to you know grow your linkedin or to grow on any platform so that's the you know tip i want to give um, all the all the all the people which uh, which are seeing this video like you know to have a head start you might not be comfortable or you might not be having that success or that kind of uh, you know fan following instantly but if you if you try to you know be regular if you try to be uh, you know posting good content then eventually community will accept and you know you will be integral part of the community so that's how i grew but my growth was you know very exponentially because i started around september october and now in january i have around uh, 40 45k i am not sure i don't know how that grew but yeah the community blessed me with the love and support and uh, uh, in the comparison of that or in the in the uh, what to i say in the return of that i just help as many people as possible uh, with whatever the knowledge i gained over the years that's great to know and what i am seeing that uh, uh, like uh, followers shouldn't matter but what i'm seeing that your every post getting lots of reach so this is important and so that's why i can say that uh, quality of content that you are providing is really great yeah so uh, i just want to ask one more question and that is that uh, if i will ask some three tips you want to give any phrases then what will be that th three tips three tips of if i want to give to a fresher is um, explore number one is explore because as a fresher uh, like you know you will be barely 20 21 and you have ample amount of you know ample amount of knowledge or ample amount of uh, things to explore right um, you should be ready and sh you should be adaptable to the market what is what is the need in the market what are the technology which are in boom right now so you should be adaptable and you should be exploring different things uh, at a single point of time do not restrict yourself to a particular domain or particular technology because uh, the it is ever changing <laughs> the fields or the technical skills that we are working is changing every day you, so you have to be adaptive that's point number 1 point number 2 is i think the last point that we discuss is you know build a community because um, you might not you might not understand the importance of building community now but down the line after 2 years 3 years or 5 years in your career you will definitely realize the importance of building a good community so that will definitely help not only in your career uh, professionally financially it will also help uh, in your personal life it will also help and uh, it will uh, it will you know open doors which uh, which you might not have imagined so that's number 2 and point number 3 is uh, pursue a good hobby because <laughs> if you are just working all day all night then um, you might bet the, the your life become boring or your life might become monotonous um my background is i was doing stand up comedy i was writing content um, i was also playing drums uh, i played basketball till the state level so there were so many things which i was you know involved in so that kind of uh, parity has to be there between your professional life and your personal life right because this work or this it thing which you are working right now will be expanding from the age of 22 to the age of 60 right 
so this is the amount of work you will be doing in your life so if there is no hobby or if there is no thing which you are doing in parallel then your life will become boring and it will get get in head of you so you have to be have some hobbies or some interests which you will be working or which you will be pursuing along with your professional career so yeah this will be uh, the third thing which i will definitely recommend all the freshers yeah i am also thinking that these three things you must follow because what happens if we only study a study then uh, there will be a time when we will get exhausted and we will like uh, we have done lots of things so always try to do have some hobbies this will really help you in uh, long run yeah so uh, i just want to the ask i just want to ask a last question and that will be that will be a a uh, little bit funny question a uh, little bit out of uh, uh, like uh, my general question so uh, have you decided to buy mercedes car in near future <laughs> yeah i get that question a lot uh, but i think i've recently shared a post along with it because uh, i have my family and i have that background of uh, you know with this company so that's the only you know sole reason which i for which i've joined this company and yes uh, the buying of mercedes is definitely on my mind not uh, maybe in this year or next year but definitely down the line and definitely get that car and gift it gift it to my dad that's great uh, like uh, gifting uh, something to dad is really like uh, this this uh, this is not about the things that you will give this is about the emotion so yeah and i am waiting for your linkedin post for that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's yeah, so, let's hope i get that soon yeah sure so uh, i think i have asked all those questions that i wanted to ask and hopefully our viewer will get lots of benefit from this podcast so thank you thank you so much for watching this video till the end and please check out sir channel in uh, you can check his link in the given description and also uh, you can uh, follow i think you are already following him at linkedin but uh, still if you you are new to this then you can follow him uh, you can find his linkedin id also in the description so that's all about this video thank you so much thank you